Hi right, guys, what's going on? This is the uh, theme pack that uh, I have created. I mean, like the themes come downloaded separately, but uh, this is for your Multiman version 4.46 PS3. Uh, so I put them all in a little pack here for you, and I'll have the link below. So the file you'll download is the Multiman 4.46.01 underscore theme pack uh, one. So if any other themes come out, then I will have them for download and theme packs and so forth. And the themes inside are the Monster, Monster, uh, Monster Hunter theme, Crisis 3 theme, Star Wars theme, and the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 theme. Alright, so, I'm basically just going to show you how to install these on your Multiman, because we're going to need to go through the uh, file manager on uh, Multiman, or the file viewer or whatever. So, uh, plug in a USB. And so what you're going to do is I just made a folder called theme on the uh, USB. And double click on that and uh, simply all you're going to do is uh, see I've already tried out the Black Ops 2 theme. Not really to my liking, uh, but I'm going to copy these over to the theme folder that I made on my USB stick right on the root. <coughs> and then... Uh, after that, we're just going to go over to Multiman and test these out. So, let this copy over. <coughs> there we are. So, yeah. So, I copy those four themes over to the USB in the theme folder that I created. And, uh, now we just got to go to the PS3 and test these out. So, uh. Take the USB out, pop in the PS3, and I'll meet you there. Alright, so back at the PS3, we are going to be going into... Yeah, going to be going. No shit. Going to be going into the uh, multi-man, or the stealth man that you have installed on your unit. So you have the themes in the theme folder on the USB stick, and I will show you how to install them. So follow me closely with this video, please, and thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Not gonna be that hard. If I have problems with this, we're gonna have some problems. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, anywho, so, uh, allow your multi man to boot up. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go into the File Manager MMOS. So, uh, click on that. Alright? Now, inside here, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't fucking need it. Uh, so, I'm just gonna. Exit this out. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is scroll over using the left joystick to the PS3 root. Alright, so double click on that and you should see the root of things. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to, um, well, pretty much, you're going to need to go and uh, select your USB. And uh can't really read this fucking thing, so hold on a second. Uh, you're going to go and select your USB. Oh my god. Alright, so go and select your USB uh, dev 001. So double click on that and scroll down till you see the theme folder. You'll see the theme folder, double click on that and open it up. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit X on every single one of these or whatever ones you want. So click X on it once and they will highlight blue. Hit circle and what you're going to do is just hit X on copy. So the MMOS clipboard for entries have been added. Now what you're going to need to do is go over here and open up another route. So once you open up that route, you're going to go to the dev HDD0. When you do that, you're going to go to game. And what you're going to look for is the little multi-man icon on the side here. It's going to be the multi-man logo. Double click on that and open it up. Go to your user directory and go to themes. And what you're simply going to do is just hit circle on the space inside this window and hit paste. Scroll over to yes. And hit yes. Allow that to copy files over. If there's another file there, it'll just overwrite it or whatever. So now that all the files have been copied over, this is what you're going to do now. Once you've copied your themes over, you're going to exit that, exit this, and go over to the game logo on the MMOS and double click on X on it and you will be back to the multi-man screen once you're back there scroll down to the themes of multi-man and you will see the multi-man theme black ops 2 theme um, 
Crisis 3 theme, Monster Hunter theme. So here's the Black Ops 2 theme. I'll apply the themes just to show you what they're like. Really quick, really simple. Not that hard to install themes. So here's the Black Ops 2 theme. That's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. This one's just stupid. <laughs> and uh, here's all the other fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's 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 that. So there's there's the Black Ops 2 theme. So we'll come over here again, and I'll go down to themes again, and let's in let's uh, do the Crisis 3 theme. And you can explore this yourself. If it looks cool to you, use it. I don't care. But uh, yeah, so that's about it. So there's Crisis 3. That's a lot better than Black Ops 2. That's way better than Black Ops 2. Hell, motherfucking yeah. Alright, so, uh, back to the themes again. Monster Hunter theme. What's this one look like? And this is for the, uh, 4.46.01, uh, uh, multi man or stealth man bases. Uh, so it will not work. Or, well, I don't know. They might work with 4.40. I'm not sure. Oh boy, Star Wars theme. Here you go. Here is the Star Wars theme for you. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back to Mon Monster Hunter, because I don't want to look at that every single time I open my multi-man. I've, my eyes have been scarred. Alright, so, yeah, so rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about the theme pack. I'll be looking for other themes as well. So, uh, when in doubt, I will find other themes for you. And, uh, but that's about it. So, um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out my website, software-reborn.com, as well as go and check out my Twitter, at DeathRain333, because everything I post is posted to my Twitter, so if you stay updated on the Twitter, or vice versa, whatever, electronics and software is my blog for Google Forms, and uh, yeah, that's about it, so the download link will be below, enjoy your themes, and more will be coming out soon, so take it easy guys, and I'll talk to you later.